wanted to try the new cell phone holder that will allow me to video from above the workstation. So I am cutting the clear front lenses off the sprue and sanding them with a 180 grit sanding stick. It appears to work fine and you can see more of what I am doing to the model. I need to determine how to video horizontally rather than vertically. That's the next exercise. These front signal lenses are going to be painted transparent or candy orange TCP557. There are four decals, numbers 24 to 27, that need to be applied to the front of the engine compartment. Note that I chose to add these now rather than later in the build as the instructions describe. Since I pressed down on decals to set them properly, I wanted to apply them now before assembling the body to the interior and underframe. Use Walter Salvaset to set the decals in place. The decals supplied in the kit allows you to have California, Florida, or Ontario license plates. Since this is a U.S. build, I chose to add Florida license plates to the model. This plate is being applied to the rear bumper assembly. Note that I placed a towel on the workbench to prevent damage to the paint already on the body. Place the engine hatch or hood into the body. The hatch has pivot points that must fit into the grooves in the body. You are going to have to tilt the hatch in order to get it into the opening of the body. Check to make sure the hatch opens easily. It should move freely. Now cement the interior assembly into the body. On each end of the interior assembly, there are two points of attachment that must snap into the body. That will guarantee that the underframe will sit properly and that everything is tight. The underframe is cemented in place next. It is a tight fit, so be careful to not break anything when pushing it into the body. Be sure to apply enough cement so it doesn't come apart, as you're going to be handling this assembly a lot, to apply the parts to finish the model. For example, the bumpers, wheels, window glass, mirrors, and door handles plus a few decals. This finishes page 14 of the instruction booklet.
The small aluminum painted mirrors are now cemented into the side mirror holders. I am doing both the left and right mirrors at the same time. Headlight glass is now being cemented in place. Note there is a very tiny bump on the inside of the glass that fits into a divot that is molded into the headlight enclosure. Now I am setting the license plate holder into the front bumper. Note that the kit gives you an option of two styles of a front bumper. Part 64, which is more narrow and is a single color, and Part 65, which is taller and is two-tone. I chose Part 64 for this build. In painting TCP 013 aluminum into the parking or fog lights that will be attached to the front bumper. Note I am using an ultra fine brush for this application as the parts are very small. There is a small area on the front of the body that needs to be painted gloss black. Using an ultra fine paintbrush, I am hand painting TCP 010 onto that area. Note that I have concentrated the pigment of the gloss black by opening a bottle and allowing it to stand overnight in order for some of the solvents to evaporate. I reapplied the cap, shook the bottle, and I am using the paint in the cap. I am hand painting the molded rubber sections on both sides of the front of the body with the same color. Where the turn signal lenses are going, the instructions say to paint the interior gloss aluminum. So I am hand painting TCP 013 gloss aluminum into those small areas so that the candy orange painted lenses will pop and really stand out. The same applies to the rear of the body where a large lens will be painted transparent red to be set in place. Since this area is larger than the front turn signal area, I am using a larger paintbrush to hand paint the TCP 013 aluminum. Cementing the tiny glass lens into the fog lights is the next step. Cementing the headlight housings into the body is now being done. Note, they only go in one way. Love the way Ravel designed this kit. Now cement both fog light assemblies onto the front bumper. It's an easy task. Last couple of items to spray paint in this chapter are the clear lenses that are the two front turn signal pieces 
and the large lens for the back area of the body. Note that on the turn signal pieces, I am spraying TCP557 transparent or candy orange, and on the larger piece, I am applying TCP551 transparent or candy red. These are both for the US version only. The last item to paint in this chapter is the rear lens. Two small areas to hand paint has to be aluminum. The rear lens has already been painted transparent red. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.